Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Infected RPG. I just want to say thank you guys for so much for all the support you left on the last episode. And guys, I'm going to try to find a day in the week where I'm going to upload the Infected RPG. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below in the comment sections. Because I want to make sure I am giving, you know, a variety of content. Mostly the Minecraft Survival Let's Play and the Infected RPG or Crafting Dead. So with that being said, I also want to give a quick little update on... On fear the crafting dead and I will do so in midway through the video so stay tuned guys for that update and also if you guys haven't already make sure you guys hit that like button let's see if we can reach 100 likes and uh, let's get into it guys because last time we left off here at the I believe this was one of the radio towers I'm not entirely sure oh no it was one of the uh, North Haven dams yeah that's what it was so uh, oh there's no supplies in there okay so what we're gonna do is we're pretty much done with this place we're gonna we block Wait, did we block this off? Who blocked this off? That's kind of strange. Well, uh, we're going to have to keep make sure... Oh, sticky keys. Thanks for interrupting, as always. Ooh, I like these boarded-up windows. This is actually a really cool texture pack. I got to be honest with you guys. So, ooh, pickaxe. I'm going to take that. I want to make sure no one's around here. So, the plan is I'm going to keep going around to explore and see what else is around here. Uh, but for the most part, we kind of checked this place out in the last episode. And I kind of want to go explore a bit more and see what else happens. And hopefully, we don't die. Because as you guys remember... Last time, we kind of got uh, beat up from the cars, the explosions, the people. It was just a lot of things all in one, right? So, yeah, that was good times, good times. All right. Oh, a revolver. Uh, we'll take that. Other than that, we don't really need much. I just want to make sure that my inventory has one main gun in here. Oh, it has one round. Let's see if we can reload this by any chance. Can we reload? No. So, I'm going to take a gun that has a bit more ammo. So, I guess we can take... Uh, the revolver has six. We can take the revolver. I don't know how that is. It looks pretty cool. So I believe I don't want to mess this up. It's left or right. I'm not sure. We're going to figure it out. I'm used to the crafting dead as well. So, oh, please. Oh, wow. Protection. I think this is the same one. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we'll figure it out. Now, I wonder if I have each chest by any chance. No, I do not. Do I have like a backpack by any chance? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment sections if there's a way to store some items because I do have quite a good amount on me right now. So, you know, let me know. I believe there are backpacks as well. I can't remember if there really are one. So, we're going to keep going down this road. We're going to see what we come across. I think there's a house down there. I want to go check that out for sure. But guys, I have to be honest. I'm really enjoying this server a lot because for the most part, it's different for me again. Oh, what was that? That was weird. Uh, for me, it's just it brings back good times like I had on Atlanta. And of course, I want to continue the crafting dead and all that good stuff. What was that? I got a zombie head. Uh, I can wear it for camouflage. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that was that was really scary, the noise. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, I really enjoy, I'm enjoying the Infected RPG, and I want to continue both the Crafting Dead and the Infected RPG because they are very different in their own ways, and I just really enjoy them. So with that being said, make sure you guys show your support. It does mean a lot. What is this here? This is the Morton Estate. Hmm, looks kind of creepy, but I guess we can we can make our way around here and see if we can find anything. Uh, the doors look closed. I can easily get in, but I want to make sure that no one's in here, right? That's the first thing, right? You don't want to go in here and find out, well, there's someone. So we could break through the windows if we really wanted to. But, uh, I think I'm just going to go through the doors because that would cause a lot of noise. And I don't want to go through any zombies trying to catch me up. But the zombie head is really a bonus, so that's good. So let's, let's go in, guys. Ready? All right, we're going in. All right, we're going to close the door. All right, anyone here? Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Sweet. I think we've got this place to ourselves. So I'm going to keep looking around. A brush suit. Oh, a bush suit. <laughs> Why did I say brush? A crowbar and medicine. We'll take medicine. I don't really need the other stuff. Oh, did I hear someone? No. I think we're good. I really like this build, though. It's cool. Really broken down and abandoned. All right, let's keep looking around. There's a chest right here that I missed at the entrance. Can of spam. We can definitely use that. Also, we got to be aware of our hydration because that is actually the XP bar for those who do not know. That's when you got to really get some water. So, ooh, let's watch out here. Anyone? Hello? Anyone? Okay, looking good so far. Uh, I wonder... Oh, I can use buckets of water, I believe. Uh, oh, that's scraps of food. Hope, oh, there's a glass bottle. So I can fill that up with some water, which is good. Uh, some more spam. Okay, what I'm going to throw out now is I'm going to throw out some junk in here. Hey, look, someone has been... I told you guys, dispensers make it where things happen here. All right, dispensers are sometimes places where people store things. So medicine we're going to take for sure. So we're going to loot this place out. I wonder if I can take the medicine. I wonder if it gives me any hydration. No, it does not. All right, that's good to know. Uh, anything else? What was this? This was a, I believe, uh, rags. Okay, so this is uh, a note. Wait, what? 
What is this? I want to see this note now. It's a recipe note. So it tells you the recipe. Ooh, we're going to take this stuff, guys. This is actually really impressive. I did not expect to have... Uh, wow, that's cool. Okay, so we have more recipes here that we can take. I did not expect that, to be honest. So we're going to take these recipes. That's a rag. Okay, we're kind of getting full on supplies here. But okay, I think we're doing okay. I'm not going to take all of them, but I'm going to just leave a few in there. Whoever needs them can use them. But I didn't know that there were recipes, book and quill, a rock. Now, I forgot about that. I want to throw out some stuff I do not need. So I'm going to do that right about here. So I'm going to throw out the rocks, guys. I don't think we need the rocks. So those are going to go out. Bucket of spam. We don't need that. Oh, wait, what? No, no, no. No, please. I don't want them. All right, let's actually put them in a chest. Anyone here? No. Okay, cool. So I'm going to store them all in there. Okay, I have to go one by one. This is really painful. Okay, so what else do I not need? I don't think I need the baseball bat. I already have two. I don't really need two, actually. And potion of medicine. We have two Colts, both ammo. I can just drop one. We don't really need it. And uh, for the most part, barbed wire, we do have an extra... Oh, what is this? A shank? We don't need that. Uh, we have a lot of... I think this is another M9. No, these are different guns. Okay, so we can keep these for the most part. Other than that, uh, we can just roll like this. I think this is fair enough. I'll just store this stuff up here. This, These things are kind of annoying, though, actually. So maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I won't. But they're good to have. So let's keep checking out this place because it is kind of has a lot of loot. Oh, can we not go up here? Oh, we can. Hey, someone blocked this off. How does one break this? All right. Is there anything else up here? Uh, There are some goods. All right. We got to figure this out. What can I do to get myself up? there uh is there a way to break this i really doubt it but i can give it a shot it looks like there are some particles breaking i think maybe maybe not taking a look right now can't see much going on i don't know if oh we can break i'm not sure i'm not going to really kill myself to just do that so i'm just going to go down and uh call it a day this mansion gave us some good supplies so i'm more than happy is this a crafting table it is a crafting table i wonder if this is what you can use to work on your guns i'm not entirely sure uh let's get out of here before anyone when anyone else shows up so oh i hear the walkers or zombies let's just jump out oh there's a lot of you guys hey am i camouflage they can't really tell look at this I'm walking right next to him. Oh, he kind of spotted me. Okay, let's keep walking down this road and see what else we can find around here. Um, so let's keep going. This is so far, it's been really good. We've been seeing a lot of cool things. We got a lot of supplies. And my favorite thing about this, for some reason, is the makeshift bow. It is fantastic. I just love the sound of it and the way that it just shaped. It looks really cool. It's like a 3D thing. So that that's honestly one of my favorite things. It's awesome. Uh, so let's keep looking around. One thing I do want to talk about now is Fear the Crafting Dead, as I mentioned. So Fear the Crafting Dead is going to be coming back as Season 2. So the reason we've been delayed with all of this is because I'm having troubles getting a server up and running. And plus, Bearzilla is on, I believe, like some vacation of some sort. So he's not around for a few more weeks. But that being said, I can still work on Season 2. And I think I'm going to be getting something developed quite soon. But please, guys, keep supporting it because it's going to be great when Season 2 comes out. It's just been a bit of a hassle getting the server up if we had the server you would have had episodes coming out right now but server is a big issue that we're trying to get figured out but other than that we have our members we have we have you know pretty much a script in the form and you know the idea of what we want season two to be like so that's all there we just need to get the server and get cracking on the recording so that's the good news and uh, the bad news is I don't know exactly when, but it'll be soon. So other than that, hope you guys are as excited as I am to bring back Fear the Craft and Dead because you guys have been asking a lot of comments about that. So I wanted to make sure they don't go unheard. All right, is there any water around here? I really need to get some water. All right, I don't see anyone. Ooh, this door looks really cool. I like that door. All right, let's keep looking around here. Anything? No, nothing in the dispensers. Looking around here. Okay, ooh, fuel. Perfect. That's actually something we need. I feel like I heard someone. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna check the storage crates here. Nothing. Okay, not too bad. Let's keep looking around. I gotta make sure. Oh, I thought that for a second I thought that was someone. I don't know why. All right, nothing around these storage. But these are awesome places to store some supplies. I'm gonna makeshift bow. Don't need it. This is a cool. Ooh, this place looks really torn down. Man, that's intense. All right, so let's keep looking around. Anything around here? Well, good thing is that this place is full of like buildings and there's a garage here. At one point, I believe I could have broken the... Oh, someone blocked this off. All right, so that means there are some good supply. Wow, a lot of people have blocked this off. Maybe I can go through here. Maybe I can find something at least. Hopefully, I can find something. Who knows? 
All right, this place. Any more supplies? Oh, bow and arrows. I need some. Actually, I have a lot, so that's not a big deal. All right, let's keep looking around. Nothing. All right, not too bad. Food. Oh, I forgot about that. Good thing I have some. What is this? This is can of spam. I wonder if it's any good. I don't know. What's that noise? Guys, can you let me know what that noise is? Because I have no idea. It's freaky. It's like I feel like someone's around me. Oh, that's how you shoot. Okay. Oh, no. No, wait. What? What? Revolver. What are you doing to me here? That was not part of the plan. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shoot if anyone's around here. Uh, let's get this thing. This guy looks pretty intense. Oh, gosh. This guy looks really intense. Uh, let's go inside here. I didn't see anyone. and Hopefully, I didn't attract anyone. I have a zombie head on, so they might think I'm a zombie. I don't know. Uh, ooh, P99. We have a lot of guns, guys. I need to find a backpack or something eventually. So that will be... What's this? Can I break this? I think I can with a bow and arrow. Now, what is over here? Some boots. Okay. Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste of uh, arrows. <laughs> All right, it's not a big deal. Let's keep looking around, guys, because this place is a pretty big city. And so far from the looks of it, I don't see a lot of people around here. So that means I can maybe find some more supplies and scavenge and hold off. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a car. Okay, sometimes I don't like being too close to these cars because they like to blow up on me. If you guys don't remember. Uh, let's actually check out a few more places here. Looks like some books here. Uh, medical supplies. Maybe we can get some. Oh, this is a pretty cool building. What's over here? No, not really a need for that. For the most part, I think hydration is our key right now. So we're going to probably get out of this place um, and go get ourselves some water. So let's jump out here. Is that a tower? This actually looks really interesting. I kind of want to check this out for the most part. This is a Fort Sweatlow. Okay, okay, let's check it out. Fort Sweatlow. Looks like this place has kind of been uh, beaten down for a few days. Looks like a military base of some sorts. That means I could probably find some source of water. There's a lot of chests around here. Uh, there's still weapons in here, so I'm pretty sure someone has not been around. Uh, so that's always a good sight. So let's see if we can find... Oh, what was this? That looked like a pretty good gun. Okay, an Uzi. That is actually a really nice gun, a mini Uzi. This thing is pretty quick, so we're going to use that. But the shotgun was really interesting, so we'll eventually get to that in the near future. Let's keep looking around. I think this is a helipad right here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it is. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm not seeing too much supplies for water. Oh, okay, we're fine here. We're still on nine um, levels of water, so that's still okay. It's decent. It's not the worst. Uh, as I'm looking around, I'm not seeing much more around here. But this is actually a really cool fort, and for the most part, it's a nice area, this place. It looks kind of fortified. I think there's only a one-way entrance from what I'm noticing, which is that way right there. Unless people can get around from, like, a broken wall. Is there a broken wall around here by any chance? No, I don't... I mean, it could be here, actually. Let me go check. Because if it's not, then this is actually a really safe base because it's only a one-way entrance. Oh, there is a broken wall. But I do have some barbed wire. So I can place some barbed wire here. Let me do that. All right, I'm going to place some barbed wire. Where would be a good spot? One there. And let's see. Where else could they jump around here? Just looking around. I think we can even place one more on the top. There we go. So for the most part, we're kind of, you know, it's not, I can't say it's safe, but it does kind of close up this place a bit more than what it was before. And this is actually a pretty decent place. It is big, but it has walls. It keeps me safe from any zombies. So that's always a bonus right there. So that's pretty good. And there's lookout towers, a lot of them. So that's pretty cool. I got to be honest myself there. Look at this lookout tower. It is absolutely insane. So this is actually a really, really, really good area, except that the only bad thing is that it's kind of so big, it's hard to, like, uh, you know, clear out. But the only good thing is that I can block off this main entrance, block off that entrance, and for the most part, we'd be in pretty good shape. So I could be looking to do that. Oh, there's a zombie in there, a walker. So uh, we'll have to probably figure out a way. But this place reminds me of The Walking Dead in a way, kind of like this main gate here, some tents, but not entirely 100%, but it has that vibe, so which is really cool. All right, so I'm going to go in one of the towers here, and I think we're going to end off today's episode of the Infected RPG. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button for more Infected RPG. Ooh, there's some camouflage zombie there. That's intense. All right, looking around. There's a few more zombies down here. Not too bad, not too shabby. So, again, let me know down below in, your comment, in the comment section what you guys thought about today's episode. Any ideas or suggestions, go ahead. There's a dude right there, or a zombie. Let's just take you out. And one more hit, and one more, you're dead, I think, at least. There we go, sweet. And we got some tokens, pretty nice. Slash airdrop to buy your own for 500 tokens. Guys, we might try that in the next episode. So, catch you guys later, peace out. My name is Oxen, and stay foxy.